liberal viewer present. So, the ancient Greek admonition warning us not to speak evil of the dead is particularly true around the time of someone's death, when family, friends, and fans are especially sensitive and sad. I admit, I was a great fan of the great American author Kurt Vonnegut, so maybe I was especially sensitive when I saw the Fox News special report story on Thursday that spoke so evilly of the recently deceased literary giant. Amid a few fragments of faint praise, at Fox News, they tried really hard to say Vonnegut's impact ended with the 20th century, as you can see in this intro clip. James Rosen looks at Vonnegut's life and the impact of his work on the culture of 20th century America. I never thought I'd amount to a hill of beans. Kurt Vonnegut probably wouldn't have wanted a classically structured obituary. His life's work, 14 novels, short stories, plays, essays, left-wing screeds, and random musings, was much too quirky, too filled with scatological humor, cosmic coincidences, and self-admitted sci-fi mumbo-jumbo for him to have enjoyed stately induction into the great pantheon of American well, writers. See, at Fox News, they could not even bring themselves to clearly say that Vonnegut was a great American writer. And it only gets worse, as you can see in this further denigration of Vonnegut's cultural contribution. His early work in science fiction brought little acclaim until the publication in 1963 of Cat's Cradle, a story of Earth's destruction that became a cult classic. By the late 70s, Vonnegut was rich and irrelevant, the subject of other people's books, a sacred cow of the New York literary scene. Vonnegut was an irrelevant sacred cow by the late 70s? Is that really a fact at all, never mind one that belongs in an obituary? And in case you missed that piece of fair and balanced reporting, Fox gives it to you again right here. American male writers have done their best work by the time they're 55, and then it's pretty junky after that. And it's but Vonnegut kept at it and persisted in his unique brand of despondent leftism. Despondent leftism? Couldn't Fox have put away whatever political acts they have to grind for at least a day after Vonnegut's death? And if you think that maybe Fox News just forgot to think of the feelings of Vonnegut's kids, well, Fox News removed that possible excuse with this horrible finale. Vonnegut, who failed at suicide 23 years ago, said 34 years ago that he hoped his children wouldn't say of him when he was gone, he made wonderful jokes, but he was such an unhappy man. So I'll say it for them. Kurt Vonnegut was 84. In Washington, James Rosen, Fox News. Uh, so what do you think? Should Fox News have taken a more respectful tone in a Kurt Vonnegut obituary aired the day after his death? And, though Fox News tried so explicitly to limit Vonnegut's impact to the 20th century, who do you think will have a greater overall impact on the 21st century? Kurt Vonnegut or Fox News? I, YouTube, you decide.